As promised, Pearl Tusi is in the building. <laughs> or should I say Queen Sono is in the building. Hello. Hello, darling. How was the party last night? Oh, babe, I was there, so it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You're not here to talk about the party, though. You're here to talk about brand new series on Netflix. First original African... What's There's a nice way they phrase it. First Netflix... First African Netflix original. There we go. Ooh, Imagine. <laughs> have, have you have you switched on your TV yet to go on Netflix and, like, see it there? Oh, no, wait, because I went to Raga last night, so oh. I slept at the hotel. I'm not ashamed about my things. And then, no, no, you don't need to be ashamed of your I things. You've big, got a reason to celebrate. I had a big night last yes. night i almost went to onyx after then oh. all my friends had lived so i was like okay fine <laughs> let me go sleep i got home now mm. like maybe at 1 30. my daughter's star. already finished watching the series what and it's got like a like a rating you know like yes, she's not yes, supposed yes, to watch yes. it alone oh oh crap she's like i need to find uncle Kahisha. <laughs> for what <laughs> i need to ask him what's happening next well <laughs> tusi's in the building we're speaking all things queen so <laughs> you've had an incredible beginning of of the year i mean it's not even the end of Fabi, it's... Babe, it's 22 C. Look, hun. Look. <laughs> it's, I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, I loved, friend. I love to see it. Um, and I imagine, I, I imagine for you, it's, it's the whole journey has been worth it. I know when you came back from uh, Quantico, you actually didn't have a job. Like, I didn't... You, you know what it is? I came back and I needed to be with my family and rest and yeah. stuff. And I was sending auditions, and but I was never. I knew that unless things changed or people decided to have more respect for me in this country or actors in general, yeah. I wasn't gonna work here as an actor. Yeah. But I needed to come back home because I'd never wanted to lose pulse of what's happening mm. in South Africa. Because when you've got foreign value in the states, you're more powerful than the actors in the yes. states. Yes. So it's very important to to just always keep that in mind. Mm. Um, so I came back, chilled out for a bit, you know spend my dollars yeah. <laughs> as you should there's something about last night that really captured me and i literally just found myself in awe and it was the beauty and i think you you said in one of your interviews but it's the beauty of the fact that uh, broadcasters and all these producers are sort of losing all that power that they had over actors for so long and i think it's now a beginning of an era where actors in south africa will maybe even get paid what they're supposed to be paid right the, the, the monopolization has gone on yeah. for way too long I'm absolutely exhausted because, as you can see, I haven't acted in South Africa, yeah. really. I, I mean, on local productions that are locally produced yes. by pre-existing, pre-Netflix. It's going to be a pre-Netflix era. Yeah. It's probably yeah. what's going to happen. That's um, what I'm literally imagining. I'm imagining we'll have Netflixes created in South Africa and that, that will, you know, replace the broadcasters. Is that is that where you think we're going? I mean, uh, there's also the other the other streaming company that's kind of working with the other broadcasters. Yes, so yes. I'm sure they're planning, you know, oh, what, how they're going to do. That one but, now. But, uh, yeah. Well, I could, but I just also yeah, this, this. also I, I wouldn't be able to mention it even if I worked here. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So um, it's a, there's a few things, but for me the most important thing is that the challenge, the competition is very important for our industry, mm. and I think that actors need to get unified in order for us to actually end up demanding and getting what we want. So we're laughing off air because <laughs> Mcizi's asking stupid questions. Yeah. I'm joking. There's no such a thing as a stupid question. Oh, that was a stupid <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, uh. He's asking, what about Shadow? How is Queen Sona the first original African series uh, from Netflix. Tell them, tell them, tell them. So Pearl went on a tangent and shouted at me in my own studio and told me I was stupid. Mm. Joke, I never, didn't say no, that. No, she didn't, she didn't. <laughs> so apparently Shadow was already made and Netflix bought that and commissioned it. But, I mean, no, bought it and this is the first original by Netflix. Well so that's done. to screen. Look Amazing. at that, eh? I'm a genius. 10 out Look of 10. Look at me. So guy. good. Love what a guy. <laughs> what is Queen Sono all about? It's about a beautiful woman. I'm joking. No, it's she a, is. Uh, yeah, and yeah, there's a actually. walk, hey? There's this walk that you do. Mm. Every other scene, it's just like, zap, zap, zap. The hero zah. walk. Yes. They used to call it my hero walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a lady who's part of a secret agency. She's a... I don't know if I'm supposed to say secret if I'm going to end up saying spy. Because, yeah. I mean, why would a spy <laughs> not be a secret? Um, so she's part of a secret agency that's fighting corruption in Africa. It's helping keep things balanced. Um, and you just get to explore her missions with her while she's also dealing with the personal issues. You know, mm. almost like a classic spy story, but with a very powerful African effervescence and flair, colors, music, um, and a very, I think, um, unique story. Yeah, I agree. I loved how uh, all of Africa was included, right? So even in the Because accents. it's the what? The first, first original. African original. Shadow Begu P. Africa. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I mean, it's, it's beautiful how they integrate all parts uh, of Africa, and it's, it's an idea. I almost felt like it's an idea of a republic, like a, a united Africa. Yes, yes. And I think is that the idea behind it? There's just the visualization between myself and Kahiso when we first sat down and discussed the idea of having even a show like this. Yeah. I was like, imagine having an African Tomb Raider, but not like Tomb Raiding because I'm black. I'm not trying to like <laughs> yeah. tombs and steal. I feel like that's appropriation, yeah. etc. <laughs> hey, but she's also wearing heels in the CBD on a bike. I'm just like it's girlfriend as well. It's coming with the thickness. I'm so sorry. It's so. like covered in with the thickness. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of that. And I, we just wanted a powerful, strong woman, a different type of African story, mm. especially that, in, you know, has a woman in it. Mm. Um, how many times have you seen an African, like, African-based an African protagonist yeah. who is physical and female and smart and witty and, and pretty? Yes, yes, all of these things in one. What's your favorite part about playing Queen Sono? Or what was? That, that I got an opportunity to reflect the African female diaspora mm. for me I didn't really draw in uh, I didn't really like pick like oh Angelina Jolie Charlize Theron or whomever and say I'm going to be inspired by these people yeah. I didn't even go and watch the movies just before I said I'm going to use the women who are around me who are already heroes in a mm. world that will not let them but they still choose to be the heroes of their mm. communities and their households um, and their countries so that for me was my favorite part like really trying to stay true to the essence of what being a black and or an African woman is. I think it's beautiful that we can watch something like Queen Sono and little black girls can see themselves uh, in you. Uh, you should see my daughter's face. Like, I can't, I can't. I mean, your mother's Queen Sono. Come <laughs> on, she's probably the coolest kid in school right now. Where did you shoot? I asked you off air. Thirty-seven locations around the continent. Wow. Mostly in South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria. Um, obviously Tanzania because we did the opening scene in Zanzibar yeah. and definitely many locations around uh, Gauteng. It's also a very demanding role physically, I imagine. Uh, what, was some of, what was the most difficult part about playing Queen Sono? Um, apart from the training, I think when we actually had to do the stunts because the environment would be so different and and like the elements, the weather and you know when you like smash glass, it's like just it's sugar. It's like mm. a sugar thing that mm. they make look like mm. glass. Mm. So once it smashes all over the floor, you carry on with the fight scene it's all slippery and dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to manage that and, you know, shooting, shooting, quote unquote, and kicking ass in heels and that like dress. I was going to say also, every, all the action scenes, well, I mean, I've only seen episode one, but it, even the shooting scene with Voyo, I think they were in Kenya. Yeah. Was it Kenya? Um, it looks so convincing. And I'm just like, mm. I'm so happy to see Voyo shooting a gun that looks like it's shooting a man. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's dummy bullets in there or yeah. we have... We have Budgets, yeah. The effects. <laughs> no, it's look, visual. The budget, the budget, is, no, this budget for everything. Seemingly, yes. Ha. Is that a nod? <laughs> that is a yes. That is a yes. It's a yes for me. I'm so upset that we have to cut this interview uh, short. Uh, we've got Sketchy Bongo and Lockenville uh, waiting for I us. I can stay and look at Lockenville and Sketchy Bongo. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You're welcome to stay. One more time. Where can people catch Queen Sono in case they live? Make to be sure you under download uh, Netflix. Watch it on your TV. Watch it on your phone. Watch it on your laptop whatever you need to if you don't have um, an account just yet please sign up and get an account and watch this amazing show we've made just for you congratulations uh, I have no doubt it will do amazing uh, today is the day of debut so go and check it out Pearl Tracy Day <laughs> 5FM TV on YouTube 5FM